My name is Peter and welcome back to the channel. I'm a creator and front-end web developer, so I spend a lot of time in front of the screen. Most of that time is spent in a browser. Every morning starts the same way. I open my browser, tell myself I just check a couple things, and somehow 10 minutes later, I'm drowning in tabs. Emails, docs, a few random shopping links, YouTube playing in the background, it's chaos. And that's when I realized my browser was part of the problem. So I try something different, Opera. The first time I opened it, it just felt light up. The layout's clean, minimal, and kind of quiet, like everything's right where it should be. You've got this sidebar with all your tools in one place, messages, music, notes, even your VPN. It's like they designed it for people who actually live in their browsers all day. I didn't have to install a single extension. Everything I needed was already built in. So as you do, I started making it my own and immediately switched the theme to this new Aurora theme, which I really love. You can also make really unique adjustments, which I've never seen on other browsers. This helps make the browser yours. You can even add browser sounds that change with the theme, which sounds small, but gives it personality. For example, the Midsummer theme is a light theme with soothing background sounds like this. The Interstellar theme is a bit more dramatic, but if you're into that vibe, it's awesome. And if you're a gamer, you'll love the Cyber City theme. I cleaned up the speed dial on the homepage, replaced the default tiles with the sites I actually use every day. It just feels more personal knowing that when you open your browser, it looks like you. Now, tabs. That's where Opera really got me. When I'm researching a video, I'll have articles, specs, press releases all open at once. Normally that turns into tab soup. In Opera, I can just drag one tab over another and it groups them automatically. They call it a tab island. So I have one island for research, another for emails, one for personal stuff. You can collapse them to save space, expand them when you need them, and your brain just relaxes a bit. It's like digital breathing room. They are even automatically formed when you open the link from the page you're on. If you're anything like me, you've probably got yourself overstimulated with a billion tabs when researching something. Luckily, Opera has a cure. They call it tab traces. Tab traces leave subtle visual traces under my tabs, helping me retrace my steps and see where I was most recently. The darker the underscore, the more recently you visited the website. And what I love is that it fits right into my workflow without forcing me to change anything. I can jump back three or four tabs ago instantly just by following the darker traces instead of trying to remember them or worse, looking through an ever-growing browsing history. It's like my browsing history, but visual and way less chaotic. When I'm deep in comparisons or tutorials, this actually saves time and keeps me focused instead of bouncing around trying to remember what I clicked last. It's such a simple idea, but once you use it, you suddenly feel in control of your research again. It also shines when I'm multitasking, comparing products, reading documentation, and then jumping into a forum thread. Normally I'd get stuck trying to remember where I left off, but tab traces turns that chaos into something structured. After trying it, it's hard to go back to anything else that doesn't have it. And when I'm comparing notes or writing a script, I'll open two pages side by side using split screen. It's so easy, you can simply drag one tab down and that's it. I can read specs on one side and type notes on the other without switching windows. It sounds simple, but it's one of those things that once you have it, you can't go back. It's just less friction and that adds up. Something else I noticed, pages load faster. That's because Opera's ad blocker is built right in. You hit one button and all those pop-ups and banners just disappear. No extra plugin, no setup, it just works. Keeps things cleaner, faster, and honestly, it's easier to focus when the web isn't yelling at you. And when I'm working from a cafe or traveling, I just flick on the built-in VPN. It's free, it's integrated, and encrypts everything without slowing me down. They have a VPN Pro version, which will give you more options, but I found the free version to be enough for what I need. While I'm working, I usually got music in the background, Spotify, Apple Music, whatever. With Opera, it's all built right into the sidebar. You can switch playlists, skip tracks, even pop it out as a floating mini player, which basically means you can move it wherever you want. It can be inside the browser or even outside the browser, so it's accessible at any time. No more hunting for the right tab to pause music mid-call. The same goes for chat. I've got WhatsApp and Telegram right there too. So if someone messages me, I can reply without breaking focus or opening a dozen windows. Let's not forget about Instagram and TikTok. It's baked into the sidebar so you can scroll social media freely. This helps me by allowing me to check the analytics of my posts without taking full distraction away from my work. And if you're a developer like me that pretty much lives in the browser all day, 
Opera's developer tools will look very familiar since under the hood it's based on Chromium which I've found to be the easiest in terms of layout and functionality when I'm developing my apps. It includes responsive design tools which are pre-configured with the most common devices along with the network and performance tabs so you can optimize your app to the max. After a few weeks of using it, I realized something. Opera doesn't try to reinvent browsing, it just makes it simpler. Everything that used to be scattered across apps and extensions is just here. It's not about gimmicks, it's about removing friction. The sidebar, the themes, the tab islands, they all come together to make the browser part of your workflow, not in the way of it. If your browser feels messy, slow, or just stuck in the past, give Opera a try. You'll be surprised how much calmer your digital space can feel when everything just works the way it should. I hope you found this video helpful and let me know what feature you love best from the Opera browser. I'm always on the lookout for ways to enhance my productivity and ultimately work faster. This browser has changed the way I work for the better. I'll leave a link down in the description for you to check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.